Hey guys, XBH3 Bandit here, and uh, welcome to an unboxing. I attempted this unboxing before, but you never saw it on the channel because it was a it was on the old camera, which was too bad of quality to put on YouTube. I didn't see the point. So anyway, here we are. We are recording, obviously, the unboxing now. Um, so this is the Corsair RM850. It's a modular power supply, fully modular, um, and it's obviously 850 watt. So I'm installing this in my computer, but for now I'm just going to do an unboxing. If there's time later I will do the installation and show you. So let's get stuck into it. So. This is the, obviously the actual uh, box that it'll come in. If you look on the top there, you've got all this information there about the fittings that are on it. We've got the 24-pin ATX, which is obviously for the motherboard. Then we have an 8-pin CPU connection, which is for obviously any, that can be split into four, but it's obviously for any motherboards that want more power for the CPU. Then we've obviously got there we've got a six pin PCI Express connector. That can also be used as an eight pin connector for a graphics card because obviously some graphics cards do need that. Then we've got over here we've got the SATA which is right there then we've got the Molex connectors and we've then got a floppy connector and also the Corsair link connector on there so right let's get the box open let's actually get a look at this thing Guys, sorry uploads on the channel have been so infrequent recently. I've been obviously struggling to find time to upload with my A-levels finishing fairly soon. But I obviously I'm trying to get as much content out as I possibly can. That's why I'm attempting this unboxing now so that I can get you some good videos. You to look at. So, just get the box off and just put that over there out of now. So, we end up with this right here when we first open it. Obviously, Corsair logo on the front there. So, we'll open it up, and first thing that you are going to see is obviously the Corsair instruction booklet well the safety information that is there and also a warranty guide they are obviously not overly important uh, then we've got some cable ties we've also got some power supply screws there for installing the uh, power supply into our computer and we've also got this lovely little adhesive metal sticker to put on the front of our computer that obviously says powered by Corsair so right then it comes with obviously a obviously as you can see there it comes with a lovely little power cable for your power supply usual fit I won't be using that power connector since all of my um, since all of my computers, well, my computer and my monitor, well, my computer and my monitors are rigged up through a UPS. For any of you that don't know what that are, be sure to check out the unboxing. So here's all of our cables. 
Uh, first one we've got here is let's start with this one. We've got the Molex connectors here, as you can see there. We've got that on that end, that was there. Then we also have a Molex to floppy connector there. That's obviously for if we need to connect up a floppy disk drive. Not many people have those now, but you may have one. And then also obviously there, we've got another chain of Molex connectors. We then have here the I believe this is the Corsair Link connection, right there. That's for any devices that have got a Corsair Link in them. Obviously, I don't because I'm mostly running on AMD and also on Cooler Master components. But obviously, I've got that there if I need it. Next thing we've got here, this is the PCI connection right there. That's obviously for graphics cards and any other PCI cards that might require a power connection. Then also we've got over here, first of our SATA connections right there. It's obviously for hard drives, disk drives, stuff like that. Then, obviously, right here we have a, another PCI connection right there, which obviously may come in useful if we decide to use Crossfire graphics or if we decide to use any other kind of dual graphics. Um, that there, as you can see, that is the 24 pin. PAL cable for the motherboard. That's obviously to connect the motherboard up and that, well there's not really much more to say about that one. Uh, next obviously over here it looks like we've got another PCI Express cable there for obviously PCI Express devices. We've also got another Molex to floppy adapter there. Next, right here, we've got the 8-pin CPU connection, as you can see there. That's obviously only for 8-pin. I'm fairly sure there's another one for if you have a... Yeah, for... well, actually, no. If you look carefully on there, and on that side as well, it actually splits in half to form a 4-pin connector should you need one, but most gaming motherboards, if that's what you're actually getting this for, they will already need an 8-pin connection so you won't need to do anything there. Then we've just got another line of obviously SATA connections right there for powering any hard drives that we have and then we've got another one. So that's all the cables out of the way. Let's actually get a look at the thing itself. So just remove that and here we are. So as you can see there, if we just take it out of the bag quick, here is the actual power supply. We've got obviously the fan on the top, so if you were putting it in your case on the bottom of the case, this would obviously be the orientation you would want it in to ensure that it's got adequate cooling. And as you can see, we've got all of our connections on that side there for the peripherals and all the power. So as you can see there, we've got peripheral connections there and all the way along there. Then obviously there you can see we've got our 6 plus 2 PCI and so that's for our PCI connectors there and also there. And also we can use any of these 4 pin connections there for our CPU as well. 
then obviously there as you can see we've got another couple of peripheral and SATA connections there then as you can see there we've got the 24 pin ATX connector there for the motherboard and finally as you can see there for anyone that needs it we've got the Corsair link connection on there Alright, sorry about that, just uh, just my dad trying to find out about a bulb for my new lamp. Uh, so anyway, as I was saying, obviously there we've got the Corsair link for anyone that wants it. So obviously I've pretty much explained it all now. Um, I don't know if we'll have time to actually install this today. Um, but obviously I've at least done the unboxing of the power supply so uh, that's obviously all of it guys so thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like um, if you haven't already then obviously remember to subscribe and make sure you comment leave feedback, leave feedback if there is anything else that you want to see on the channel or maybe you want to ask a question about this particular power supply or even a question about any kind of technology at all because I will be more than happy to answer your questions and I'll try and answer them as much as I can. So thanks for watching guys and goodbye.